Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are gonna go over five easy tips that everybody should know and be using inside their output menu in Darkroom Booth 3. Okay, let's jump right in and get started. So the first tip I have is using match output for the number of photos taken. All you have to do is click here, select match output. That way, if you change a template, let's say from four to three images, it will automatically capture three photos. Where this is very helpful is using print alternate. If you have a uh, template with only a single image, it will only capture one image. If you have a template with three strip the three images on a strip then it'll automatically capture three images it won't take more photos or less photos than you want so the second tip I have is using auto for your print option I have uh, two by six selected if I switch to let's say a four by four you can see it crops so if I check right here this option says auto it will automatically select the correct print size for the uh, template selected so if i select four by six it should automatically update with four by six and it's getting that information from the actual template so that is the auto option right here under the uh, print photo option or the size option so the third thing on my list is going to be BCC yourself. It's real easy to do. All you have to do is add your own email address. And that way, every time a image is sent via email, you'll receive a copy. If somebody accidentally misspells their email address, all you have to do is go on your phone and forward from your phone. You don't have to go into uh, the software or uh, hold anything up you can deal with that all remotely so BCCing yourself is a good idea to make a backup copy and while we're talking about backups that brings us to the fourth option which is using copy originals and save output to make a backup copy so I'm gonna save out uh, click save output and I have a folder I've created on my desktop and there's a very specific reason I'm using my desktop and not suggesting going straight to a flash drive. Um, I, uh, although the flash drive seems like a really good idea, it's easy to get a flash drive that's not been formatted or has some sort of saving issue or the flash drive letter changes whenever you plug it in. So. At that point, then you might run into errors because it's not possible to actually save to that drive. So it's a good idea to save it to the desktop and then copy it over to the flash drive at the end of the event. So we're saving the output, so that would be the prints. We're gonna go to copy originals. Uh, I'm gonna use two for a, a specific reason you'll see in just a second. Um, so event images, and these are the original images. So I'm gonna click okay. And that is saving a backup copy instantly. If anything happens to the images inside the software, let's say you update a template and forget that you hadn't saved uh, the images that were using that template, uh, it'll prevent any issues that may arise from that. So make a backup copy of your originals and your prints instantly uh, so you have them just in case. And the fifth option fifth uh, is going to be using copy originals to output your GIF so let's say in your email settings you're using enable animations and you have a template being applied um, and you want to save a local copy so copy originals um, we're gonna save to a, a folder within my event images folder I'm going to check enable animations and just select all the settings I want and then click OK and now I have a local backup file for my GIFs as well and that brings me to the last 
the sixth and bonus tip. Let's say you're using post to event gallery and you're posting the output images and then you also have this option to also upload original images checked. Let's say you wanted to upload the GIFs as well. That's where darkroom hot folder comes in really handy. We'll click on darkroom hot folder, click settings, and now I can browse to my local GIF uh, folder and make sure that it's uplo uh, uploading to the same gallery. The date's checked. So it matches what the settings that we have in Darkroom Booth. So now, whenever I run through a session, it's gonna email a GIF, but it's also gonna save that GIF to a folder, which Darkroom Hot folder is then monitoring, and it's gonna upload the originals, the print, and the GIF to Event Gallery. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.